The R9 control allows for multiple programmable safety areas within one program. To do this, select the Edit tab, select Setup, and select the Teach Program Resource drop-down. From within that, select Safety Areas. Here we can view the work cell in a 3D model or in individual axes. Any safety areas that have already been included in the program will be listed here. To add a safety area, select the plus icon, and this page will open. The axes to be considered within the safety area can be selected, and the axes that need to be ignored need to be checked. If you want all axes to be included in the safety area, they all must be unchecked. In the example we use today, we'll ignore the B and the C axes. It automatically defaults to the exclusionary being checked, which means you are making a exclusionary safety area, not allowing the robot to enter into that safety area. Unchecked, you are making an inclusive safety area allowing the robot to work within the coordinates of the safety area and not able to exit out. In our example today, we'll make an exclusionary area, for instance, to protect a granulator somewhere in the work cell. Once this page is finished, select Next. And here you can teach the coordinates of the axes to be included in the safety area. The from position is saying where the safety area is beginning from, and the to position is saying where does the safety area end. If you don't know the coordinates, you can select the axes and drive the robot to the physical position required to input. Normally, I advise that you move the robot prior to creating the safety area, write down the coordinates, and then you can numerically input them into the safety area dialog box. So on the Z axis, we'll say the safety area begins when the Z is at 200 millimeters and will end when it goes to 500 millimeters. The X axis, the kick stroke, will say the granulator is within the position from the X0 position to 300 millimeters on the X. The Y axis needs to be able to travel down into the mouth of the granulator. So the from position is the position that we're going to allow the robot to travel to from zero. So we're going to say that Y can travel to 300 and then the limited area is from 300. And if we want it to go to its maximum stroke, we can select the plus sign. This means that the robot is restricted on the Y axis from 300 to its maximum travel depth. Anytime X is between 0 and 300 and Z is between 200 and 500. Select the Next tab to determine if you want to activate this safety area based on an input or an output. To do this, you select the checkbox, and the option for the inputs or outputs can be selected from the list found here. Based on the input, you can then select whether the input or output is in the on or off state when the safety area will be activated. If you don't want to utilize this, you just hit the red X, and now the safety area will be active at all times. You can also set an output based on the outputs available from the list to give you an audible or visual alarm. If 
you are inside or outside of the safety area. Once again, if you don't want the output to be utilized, just turn it off with the red X. Select Next, and here you can name the safety area. So since we're protecting a grinder, we'll name the safety area Grinder. And on the 3D modeling view, we can choose which color the safety area is represented by. And then we say Create. So now we have in our 3D modeling, the area that is protected that the robot is not allowed to intrude into. Once the safety area is created, it is active at all times, including automatic, manual, block stop. The only time the safety area would not be active is if the robot is a non-absolute encoder robot and you have the reference missing state. Once the robot locates its zero positions and the encoders are set, then the safety area will be activated. To test the safety area, you can go to the test area. You can see the safety area. You can manually move the robot into the coordinates that puts it into the safety area. And if we're over the granulator at this point, when we bring the Y axis into the safety area, you'll look at the coordinate. This is the position we'll stop at. We're at 299.8. It threw the alarm safety area violated. Even though the animation shows we've intruded, this is the braking distance. The robot had stopped at two-tenths of a millimeter prior to breaking the safety area boundary. 